So for this week's video I'm going to show you guys what I carry around with me every single day. So I like the Moleskin pocket notebook, uh, just for some quick notes. Then the Apple Watch. So I mainly like the Apple Watch for the notifications and the activity tracking. You can see the activity tracking right in the corner here. You basically have three circles you have to uh, fill every single day. The first one is for calories burned, so it's your move goal. The second one is the exercise one. You can see I've been not that active today. And then last we have the stand goal, uh, which means you have to stand at least one minute in an hour. Uh, for at least 12 hours a day. Then last but not least, the iPhone. It's an iPhone 6S Plus, 64 gigs. Let me show it real quick here. So uh, basically the most interesting apps are at the bottom of the screen. So these ones. So besides the regular apps, I'm currently trying to use Outlook for my emails. Uh, we also have Swarm there, like to check in into places. Uh, then Instagram. Uh, Tweetbot because I really spend a lot of time on Twitter Then we have snapchat um, mostly like the stories there um, Then slack for team communications Recently switched back to OmniFocus for my to-dos just therefore I was using Wunderlist um, And then Evernote to keep track of all my notes um, And from time to time scan the notes in my Moleskine Evernote Notebook which I'll show you guys later. Yeah, also have the YouTube app uh, and then the, the regular ones like the calendar, messages, camera, news, photos, stocks, weather, yeah, you name it. Then on the second screen, the ones that didn't make it to the, the home screen. We have uh, Dropbox, which I really like to keep track of all my files um, on different computers because I use an iMac at home, uh, my MacBook Pro and then my iDevices. Then we have Spotify, there's some, some music, Uber. Netflix, Hangouts, YouTube Studio, and just some banking apps and some other stuff. So yeah, that's basically it for the iPhone. So next up, my bag. Uh, this is a Timbuktu command bag, I think it's called. Um, got this a few months ago. Really like this bag. It's probably one of the best bags I've ever owned so far. Um, so next, let me show you guys uh, what I carry in it. So that's basically everything I carry with me in my messenger bag. Now let me explain what's actually on the table here. To start with we have the iPad. So these are basically the apps I like to use uh, most on my iPad. You can see some similarities with my iPhone here. Like the Tweetbot app, uh, the Outlook app for email. Must say, since I, I have switched from the iPhone 6 to the 6S Plus, I use my iPad quite a bit less. I think it's just because of the bigger screen of the, the iPhone, um, that the iPhone is also pretty good for reading, watching videos, um, yeah, just that kind of thing. Next we have my MacBook over there. There's not really much to explain about it, so uh, it's uh, a 15 inch uh, Retina MacBook Pro, early 2014 and I, I really like this laptop. Next up, the cables. First we have uh, a VGA adapter here, if it wants to focus. So yeah, we have a VGA adapter here. Um, basically if I needed to give a presentation or uh, have to work on a dual screen with uh, a VGA port that doesn't have the, the mini display one. Um, this thing always comes in handy. Then we have a Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter. So yeah, the, the Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter. Just in those uh, cases you don't have Wi-Fi or need to connect to a hardwired network. Then we have uh, 
just some in-ear headsets. So just regular Apple in-ear headsets. Next we have uh, a USB 3 cable for the Western Digital uh, My Passport. Last but not least but the cables. You always have to have an, uh, a lightning cable with you. Just in case that iPhone battery dies on you again. Next we have the Western Digital My Passport Ultra. It's a one terabyte external hard drive which I use for photo and video uh, because my Retina MacBook Pro only has 250 gigs of SSD memory. So this thing really comes in handy. Then we have a small USB thumb drive. It's a SanDisk Cruiser Micro with just eight gigs of memory. Next up we have the Apple Magic Mouse. Doesn't need any explanation. Sometimes I just uh, like using a mouse instead of the trackpad on my MacBook, uh, especially if I'm doing some uh, more graphic stuff. And this little thing here, a uh, little SIM card eject tool. This came with my OnePlus. Always have one of these, especially when you're traveling. Uh, need to switch SIM cards uh, at your destination. This thing will really come in handy. Next up my writing stuff. So first we have a fountain pen. These are Unibol's Jetstream. Really like these pens. This one's uh, a bamboo stylus. Use it sometimes for the iPad, not that much. That's a really nice thing. And then of course the Moleskine notebooks. The first one is an Evernote edition. So this one basically has uh, some kind of special pages um, that you can scan really easy with the Evernote app and that will just uh, save them in the cloud for you. Also has some stickers in the back um, that you can use to automatically add text to it when you scan those pages. And then next we have one Moleskine soft cover. Basically I like to split up my notebooks, one for business, one for personal use. So that's the reason why, why I always carry two of them. And then last but not least we have the Bose Quiet Comforts. These are the QC25. These come with a separate cable. They also come with an airplane plug. And the headsets themselves. These are probably one of the most comfy headsets I've ever owned. I bought them right after I did my first long haul flight ever. Um, because I really didn't like the noise on the airplane. And these one do a pretty good job in uh, noise cancellation. If you put them on you basically can't hear a thing other than the music that's playing at the moment. And they come with this uh, nice pocket here. Uh, you also have some space for a spare battery. Yeah, these are quite nice. So, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, there will be weekly uploads. I really would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!